And with us right now, we have the pleasure of having Dr. Angelica Perez, uh, CEO and publisher of New Latina Publication. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for the interview. Absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about your publication, New Latina. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how that concept maybe uh, came to be and you know where it, where it went from uh, in terms of the initial concept and then how it came to be where it's at now? Of course. Um, I am a clinical psychologist in private practice and for the past 20 years I've been empowering and uh, counseling and coaching Latina women of all walks of life and uh, one of the things that I realized uh, three years ago was that there was a, a world of new media and social media where I could take the conversation that I was having in my private practice take it to a higher level to reach more women um, just by either writing articles or uh, spotlighting a lot talented Latina women or having contributors to come in and, and, and write about things that were, were relevant to women um, so that's kind of that, how that effort uh, got started. And then I thought about the concept of the new Latina. And for me, the new Latina is a woman who's bicultural, who's living in two different worlds, who, like her mother, um, you know, who was maybe perhaps the, her mom or dad was an immigrant and was a pioneer in this country. Well, I feel that a lot of women in my generation, we are also pioneers. We're, we're in new land, in the new land of corporate America, new in the land of leadership. We're figuring out, we're navigating these new spaces that are new to us because we haven't had, you know, our families have not been in corporate America or have not been entrepreneurs. So the concept of New Latina for me was just a way to redefine a group of women who were doing wonderful things, but we're still kind of figuring it out. We're navigating uh, these new spaces. Um, and it's been pretty successful. I'm, I'm honored to say that there was a dissertation that was recently done and published and com completed by a woman who studied the five main factors of being a Latina leader. So she did a study of Latinas in leadership, and one of the factors um, that was associated with being successful as a leader was being a new Latina. So the, the phrase is actually being coined and used now in research, so I'm very proud of that. <laughs> love it. Yes, I love it. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about what is it that you love about what you do in terms of maybe being a publisher, your daily activities and so forth. If somebody was maybe an aspiring publisher or somebody that wanted to do something like this, what advice would you have for them, and then what is it again that you enjoy about your role? Sure. Um, well, I, I love communication. I love being able to to reach more than one person at a time, and I think that publishing allows you to do that, and allows you to give different perspectives about one particular um, uh, issue or situation. Um, it allows people to say tell their stories. We as Latinos have a lot of stories to tell, and they're very relevant and powerful. Um, so publishing for me is a vehicle to empower a community, to empower individuals. So just that, just that alone uh, um, motivates me and makes me want to get up in the morning and, and work on it. Um, but uh, overall, for me, my mission in life is to continue to uh, increase the number of women and, and, and men, Latinos, who are going into higher education, to increase the number of women who are going into academia, to increase the number of women in corporate America. And I feel that through publications, through blogs, uh, websites, if we can start the conversation, even if it's just one article, one paragraph that touches someone's life and helps them rethink about something that they never thought about, I think that is very powerful. Um, so that really what that's that's what motivates me to do this. And every one article that we publish, it's it's there with the in incentive that it's going to change someone's life. I have so many different tabs of information yes. where your your audience or anyone that visits your site can find something useful in just a variety of different subjects. Well, our lives are so rich and diverse. So there might be a Latina who's interested in entrepreneurship, but there might be someone who's interested in navigating corporate America. Um, and there might be someone who's interested in corporate America but wants to look at a, a recipe, you know, um, a fast, quick recipe in the morning, a simple thing to do because we have very busy lives. So anything that we write about has to do um, with the busy lives that we lead, you know, being productive, um, being centered, being happy, successful, um, and not compromising who we are. Very good. Well, Dr. Perez, thank you very much for the interview, and sure. we wish you much continued success. Thank you. It goes to you. Thank, thank you. you.